Hey y'all, it's Tammy and Chris. This is Real Southern Woman. Um, I don't even have a speaker on, so if he says something, you won't hear him. Because he's so quiet. But anyway, this is the first day that I have gotten up and got a shower and gotten dressed since Wednesday. I know that's sad to say, but I have been really sick all week. Um, so y'all only got, I think I did a Bible study Tuesday. But y'all, I have been so sick, and I didn't know why I had a migraine. And it was going on five days, and I happened to look at my medicine, and I had completely left off one of my medications all week. That is a big deal for me because I have fibromyalgia, and it was my fibromyalgia medicine. And I think that's what, what caused the headache because now that I've gotten it filled and I'm taking it, my headache is gone, although I'm still um, having to recuperate from my week. It has been nuts with me. So today, uh, we didn't go to church this morning. Um, yesterday, I rested all day long. And I came on here last night, and I know y'all seen, some of y'all seen that crazy video. We were trying to see if we could go live through our good camera. And it worked, except I couldn't get the sound on. So I worked with it for a little while, and I'm sorry, but something's got to be a guinea pig. I tried to use my own, like my timeline page, and uh, make it only to me, and I couldn't get it to work. So you may see a few guinea pig videos. Sorry, but you can ignore them, or you can play along with the fun if you want to. I fixed my hair like the 80s today. Can you tell? I'm an 80s girl today. I thought it was 1986. Yes. I, I was so tired still, and I washed it. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to put gel in my hair, flip it upside down, and blow dry it on low. And that's what I did. So I'm definitely an 80s girl. And if I take these pins out of it, it's bigger than this. Y'all look. My hair is big today. 80s. But I got on a cute dress. That counts for something. Anyway, we finally finished up today decorating our cake for cake lessons. So we actually got to eat a piece. It is so good. And it does remind me of my mama's cake that she made my whole life. It tastes just like it. I need to take her a piece. She'll be like, finally, I get some good cake. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to I do have my pills in a pill box, Carolyn, and I still messed it up. I don't know why, but I completely, I guess because it wouldn't fill, and all my prescriptions are on a automatic fill. So normally they call, we go pick them up, and I don't even have to call anything in. Well, I did my medicine for the week, and it wouldn't in the box, and there's so much crap in there. I always swore I wouldn't take as much medicine as my mama, and I take more. It's ridiculous since I've had cancer, what all I have to take. But anyway, it wasn't in there, and uh, y'all, I've really, really been sick, and I don't normally, I'm not normally a baby when I'm sick, but with a headache and nausea and all that, it's just been rough, but now I'm feeling better finally this evening. I'm still tired, and it'll take a while for my body to get that medicine back in it and do right with my fibromyalgia, but if y'all want to know what it is, if you have fibromyalgia, it's Lyrica. Lyrica is one of those drugs you're not supposed to just stop. You're supposed to have side effects. And what's so weird about it is I had the headache, but it wasn't like, I have not taken it before and gotten real dizzy and stuff. And I didn't do that this time. So it's just really weird. I love that stuff. It has made a difference in my life. I can get out and actually walk in the store. And without that stuff, I can't really do nothing. Um, Haleola Cole, and I don't know if y'all liked our new videos on, um, Colored Valley Cooks or not. Y'all let us know. We had one lady say that she liked them. They were more professional, and she just really enjoyed watching them, and it didn't take so long to watch a video. Um, and I know they're not quite as personal, but if y'all watch me on here, y'all get to see my personal stuff. And then, um... With a cake lesson one uh, today, now they they post every, you know, two, two every week, 
And so it'll be, it, I, I do them in advance, but today we did uh, roses and daisies and like, uh, you can make it into like a um, English rose, uh, well, not an English rose, but like a, I forget, you know, the wild roses that grow. And we did uh, leaves, two different kinds of leaves, and we did some piping. And I think that's about it, ain't Chris? And um, so when we finished it up, we got to eat the cake, and that cake is so good. Um, so I called Amy because she's been asking to eat that cake since I made it. And she, I'm like, Amy, that cake is not, it's not going to hurt that cake to sit. It'll actually be more moist and it'll be better. And so I just sent her um, a message telling her the cake was cut. Leola says she likes more personal. She loves the cake ones. You know what's so strange? I mean, on Facebook, like last week, we did come on and do a live for y'all one night just so that y'all get a live. This week I was so sick, y'all, I didn't cook. I mean, I was really sick this week. I made it through about, by Wednesday night, I was really sick and I went to church anyway. But after that, I just couldn't do nothing. I mean, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I was just pretty much in the bed sick. So I'm glad I am feeling better. And I hope y'all are having a good day. And hopefully this week we'll be able to do something live for uh, Colored Valley Cooks on Facebook. Um, I don't really have any new news, do I, Chris? Besides, I felt guilty for not coming on here. Um, I guess y'all seen the video where me and Chris went shopping. That was Monday. Um, and we did pretty good. Uh, we got some deals. Betty, Jean, Hayden, Hayden, Coates, and Jen Mitchell. My husband made your amen today for my mom's birthday. What did your husband make, Jen? You didn't tell me what he made. Um, some of y'all were making that chocolate pie we posted this week. It was delicious. We ate it up. We had that thing. Yeah, we had that thing ate like we ate most of it that first night, and then the next day we finished it off. Um, Chris right now is making ribeyes. I can let y'all see them if you want to. Um, this is our little personal channel. Um, let me let me get the thing off. And um, let's see. Let's go in here and see what he's doing. And I'll let y'all see my cake we devoured. Oh, by the way, somebody bought me off my gift list, wish list, a stainless steel hood that matches my stuff in the kitchen. Wasn't that nice? Me and Chris put that up, and you should have seen us. We actually uh, had a couple of uh, mean words to each other because any time a wife and a husband works together, sometimes it's not the best. Here's the steaks. These are part of those ribeyes off that roast we told y'all about. Um you know, that huge roast we bought from that company. And so here they are, enormous pieces of meat. So we're making two of these for supper. Chris has got the grill started. I have got in my air fryer, I have got some potatoes. And look at this yummy cake. Here's the cake. I, I guess y'all can see how good it looks. It's moist. It's delicious. All the layers are about the same. So, um, and here's part of it decorated. I did some string work. It falls off real easy. And then um, I did roses and stuff. Two of them have already been taken off. But anyway, I hope y'all are enjoying that channel. And we'll do more on there, you know, like some cupcakes for Easter or themed cakes. And I know all that stuff's coming up. So, have you already got the charcoal ready? Uh, let's, go let's go look at it, y'all. Let's go outside. My uh, pool is such a mess. Let me turn this around. Well, y'all just bear with me. Yes, Chris had to be good to me and feed me all week because I was too sick to do anything. All right. Y'all see our terrible looking pool? It is green. It is green. So, Chris is going to drain it. 
and we've got to fill it back up. And then here is our, look at my dirty porch, Lord. And then this is our charcoal getting ready. We're just plain OJ, no people. We don't have nothing fancy. I've had these, uh, what do you call them, umbrellas. Gosh, I probably had them seven or eight years at least. And they're, they're getting, you know, kind of tired looking, but I don't care. We usually put them in the uh, garage, and we hadn't done that this year. The porch looks terrible because, but Chris is trying to grow plants in these things. In these, he's made these little greenhouses for them, and the seeds are coming up a little bit. I don't even think y'all can see down in there, but you might can. I don't know. Anyway, he's got those going. And then he's got some stuff in here in the dining room. He needs to paint my door. It's filthy looking. Chris, you need to paint that door. It's filthy looking. I'll show y'all what he's got in here. Chris, what is this right here? This is a cantaloupe. We got cantaloupes. We got... And this uh, is what? Tomatoes? Yeah, that's Cherokee purple. These are Romas. Roma tomatoes. Uh, they were in cups like this, but the stems got too long and spindly, so he had to get some support. So we placed them down in some deeper soil. These cucumbers. Cucumbers. These are, I think these are the beef steaks. Beef steak tomatoes. That's wimpy looking. That's a squash. That's a squash. And that's a squash. It's hard to get squash. These are all peppers. And there's a squash. He planted like four squash and only one come up. Then he planted like about four more and only one come up. So at least we got two. And then these are sweet peppers and um, let's see. Sweet pepper carnival blend. Sweet pepper California wonder. And let's see what this one is. Jalapenos. So, that's that. And the house is kind of a mess because I um, have been out of commission all week. So, anyway, thank you, thank you, Amy H. for my hood. You know who you are. And we got a really sweet letter from the little girl that cooked with us. It was very nice. And Chris has been a man in the kitchen most of the week. Thank the Lord for him. When I'm down, right? So anyway, um, I guess I'll come on maybe, well, it's Saturday, and I haven't done Bible study in forever. Let's just see what it says today, if y'all don't mind. Sunday. Oh, it's Sunday. See, I don't even know what day it's, it is. I've been so sick. Crazy. All right, here we go. Ugh. I'm going to put y'all back on the stand. Okay. Y'all like my 80s hair? I love the 80s. Wasn't it a nice time? I think so. Today is March the what, Chris? That's you sure? sure yeah. He says it's March the 10th, so that's what we're going to read. This don't have sound. I guess y'all can hear me. Surely the, the good Lord. March the 10th, all of me. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxious thoughts and see if there be any hurtful way in me and lead me in the everlasting way. Does Jesus have access to your whole heart or does he have to say in everything you think, express? Does he have a say in everything you think, express, and do? As your Savior, he wants to, and he realizes there are places within you that are still bound to sin, and you would tend to shut him out of them. Of course we would. Keeping him away from your well-established walls of protection and coping mechanisms. But those are the very areas where you need him most because they are the ones that cause you to struggle. And despair. Even today, they may be causing you to feel weak and helpless. The answer to the pain you feel is going even deeper in your 
relationship with God saying, Jesus, here is my heart. I am willing to unwrap myself before you. My soul, my spirit, and everything I am, I don't want to hold anything back. This is true intimacy with him, and it is a victorious path to freedom and healing for you. Um, and what's so crazy about the whole thing is that we try and we think that we're hiding stuff from the Lord and he knows everything already. So I think he likes for us to tell them. It's kind of like our kids when they do something wrong. And we know they're doing something wrong. Isn't it nice when they finally admit it? And, and then it makes it, you feel like they're not lying to you. And they're not hiding something from you. And that's how he feels when we do that as well. Because he is our Heavenly Father, right? So let's do that today. How about it? Let's talk about the things um, that we've been holding back and um, tell them that we're sorry. The main thing that I've done this week has been so sick that I've ignored my time with Bible study. I have listened to his word when I lay down, but I have to admit most of the time, every time I put it in my ears, I would fall asleep. I remember as a young child, my papa was actually a preacher. His name was J.T. Howard. And I remember when we went to their house, every time he prayed at night, he would actually get down on his knees in front of the bed, and he would pray. And I often thought, you know, why does he do that? But I think he does it because it keeps his mind on who he is and who God is. It also puts him in, in a right position that he doesn't fall asleep. I don't think that it's terrible to fall asleep when you're praying. I mean, it's a, it's comforting to know that you're talking to your uh, Heavenly Father. But I do think that sometimes we might need to kneel down beside the bed and pray instead of lay down in the bed and pray. Hope that this has helped you somehow today. Um, me and Chris are about to eat a really good supper, and I'm finally getting some of my strength back, and I'm glad. And um, I just hope that each and every one of y'all are blessed, and um, I guess we will see you soon. Love you. It's good to talk to everybody. Bye.